Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about deploying via source to image S2I. So one of the more useful things that you can do with OpenShift, especially as you're getting started, is to uh, work with source to image where all it's really looking for uh, from a, uh, an OpenShift perspective is a GitHub repo. It's got um, some app types that it can go ahead and deploy uh, your, your apps directly as pods. And so we can take a look here at this Node.js app. See, we've got some app code here. And so all OpenShift is really looking for from us is the OC new app command. We're gonna go ahead and deploy this new application from the Red Hat repo. And that'll just take a, you know, just a second here. But as we're waiting for this to uh, set it up, it's just important to say that what we're trying to demonstrate with this is just how easy it is for developers to be off and running, not really having to think even necessarily uh, in every case about you know, creating Docker files or things like that. Uh, OpenShift does uh, a nice job of actually converting that right into an image for us, something that's runnable. So next we'll go ahead and expose the service as we've talked about. Um, services don't automatically expose themselves to any other you know, external to OpenShift access. Look at the build uh, that's happening uh, and state that it's currently in. We can look at the logs for uh, this build one that we're running. It's in process here. Uh, we should see, you know, looks like it's still pulling that down. So we'll go ahead and pause here and we'll come back when it is uh, ready. And we're back. So what we can see here is the log output from the, the build itself. And we see push successful and that's usually the last message that we wanna see to know that that's uh, good. We then run OC get routes to actually identify the, uh, the, the path that we would go to. And then from here, what we should be able to do is should already be already up and running, certainly looks like it is. And here we have a new Node.js app. So that is uh, S2I in a nutshell. 